Happy Thursday, everybody. Whoa, Question this morning is quite simple. Do you have cell phone service? I know. This is all we've right. been talking about. Uh, if you are waking up without cell service, you're not alone. There is a nationwide outage with multiple services, including Verizon, T-Mobile, but AT&T users being affected the most in major cities, including right here in Charlotte. According to Down Detector, it's a website that tracks outages. It shows a spike starting around 4 this morning. At this point, we don't know why this is happening. There's no explanation so far from uh, the carriers. But CMPD posting this on social media this morning, saying that it's aware of the outage. The department also says customers were briefly unable to contact 911, but there are no disruptions. The statement is a bit confusing, so we're trying to get more information about it. Um, with that last line where it says service should be returning shortly, I'm not sure if, if they're talking about overall service, if some other service, and if CMPD is privy to information that we don't have from the carriers. So it's a little confusing, but shedding a little bit of light at the same time. Kind of scary because, you know, mm -hmm. if you have AT&T and you're, you have a serious situation. Yeah. You need to get right. in contact with somebody. That's frightening. Well, the Today Show yeah. touched on it this morning, and they said uh, uh, other cities like San Francisco, L.A., Houston, Chicago, Atlanta dealing with this, and San Francisco still saying they, you cannot call 911. They're not getting calls and that wow, they're urging people to use a landline right oh. now. And we know that many people don't have a landline right now. It's probably less than 10% of people that have still have a, damp, a landline. Yeah, that's what it say. seems. Mm -hmm. I know my parents just ditched it at their house and they had my number for what do you all have years. right now? I have I have one small bar. I, I have AT and T, and mine says SOS at the top. So well, you have AT and T. Yeah, yeah, and um, Verizon, it's no problem. Well, um, mm -hmm. they said this morning on the Today Show again, AT and T, Verizon, T Mobile, mm -hmm. and they also said um, NBC was reporting. AT&T, you know, we said spiked around four and then they said that dipped and they started resolving some issues and it spiked way back up again, which is very concerning. Yeah. Yeah. So they mm -hmm. said it was like they tried to fix it and then it spiked back up. So and even are, higher than before, are they going to so. be able to uh, resolve it again? And none of the carriers have commented. You know, this this goes yeah. to show that cyber threats are a big sure. Now, we don't know if that's the deal. Know. A lot of people are no speculating yeah. online. Uh, yeah, so but if that happened, we, we know. No, seriously, it could be. Sure. Potentially um, could be. Yeah. John chime in and he says his service is just fine. No uh, outages so far with mm -hmm. him. So, yeah. And also, John says he does not have a landline. So that's the, the big issue that we don't have that second choice. I think the big issue, too, is liability. I mean, who, if someone is going, you know, through an emergency or mm -hmm. needs first responders. Especially 911, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's so scary. So what happens about. after that? Yeah, that's really frightening. Yeah, it, it really is. This is just kind of a, an awakening moment that you realize how reliant we are on our cell phones. Oh, my goodness, yes. Yeah, and especially if you're talking about these lines affecting 911 mm -hmm. services, about how we're all attached to that, even here at the TV station with Wi-Fi and everything like that. Oh, yeah. So really, hopefully, it's going to be resolved soon. One thing soon. a lot of people don't realize about, which I still have, landline. Landline service is there forever. If the power goes yeah. out, it still works. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's it's a line, it's a direct line, and I, I think this is reaffirming the fact that you know, it's something to think about in, in a serious situation in, in a catastrophe. Uh, landline can save a life, but yep. most people don't have it. Mm -hmm. It's old school to have it, but it may say you may say, well, uh, maybe that's something to have. It is. There's an expense to it, obviously. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. But in an emergency like San Francisco. Yeah. yeah, that would that could save a life. And yeah, exactly. coincidentally, our landlines here at the station went down late yesterday. I think I was seeing from the, the emails. So, like, I think that was just well, an outside uh, uh, source. Actually, actually, is the Ring not, Central? Uh, uh, Ring Central is not. Uh, that's actually over the internet. Oh, that's over the yeah, internet. Over okay, the internet. so it's still yeah. self-service. Yeah. So, Ring Central is another yeah. one that we had an issue yeah. here that affected our yeah. station. That's so. a good question, though, because yeah. the CMPD are they? I would think that they're probably relying on landlines, right? Yeah. So they can't. They get have the that calls. as a backup. Yeah, they can't get the calls. So they can't get them. It's not. But they can connect. I mean, obviously. Well, CMPD Again, said they it's, it's, resolved the issue, but San Francisco was the one <clears throat> that's saying right now they haven't resolved the issue and they're urging people to right. use a landline. Joy, Joy so, I just want to chime in because Joyce made several comments. Yeah, Joy, that you're sort of explaining the problem that some people yeah. uh, have is that if you don't have um, a landline, what do you need to do with 911, which is clearly the fear for a lot of people. Here in Charlotte and across the country, although again, CMPD seems to think that, mm -hmm. um, at least according to their statement, that they've got the situation. Well, under you know, control. supposedly, you know, if you take, if you have a, a cell phone and and you lose the vendor, 
you, you should still be able to make a 911 phone call, call regardless. Yeah. I think so, that's, too. That's the way it's set up with cell phones. Yeah. Oh, it is set up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, regardless yeah. of carrier, you should yeah. be able well, to Well, then why are they saying that they're not working? Because their so, call center, I th think, was actually down with their right. data. Yeah. They talked about this. So we were kind of talking about this in the newsroom during the broadcast because we had this on our morning show, obviously, as well. And we were trying to figure out, at least producers were trying to figure out if they should put that in the script because, obviously, there's no way for us to test that. We've mm -hmm. got a couple of producers mm -hmm. that are... Totally. AT&T customers that yeah. are seeing, you know, the SOS, yeah. but obviously we're, you know, we can't test mm -mm. an emergency call. So we kind of just left it out of the yeah. script until we could figure out what to say. Um, John, oh no, Melissa chiming in saying um, her son's phone is AT&T working fine, but her daughter has AT&T and her, ha uh, her daughter's phone it's has really the strange. SOS at the top. And uh, Robert, our director, uh, looked it up for us. 27% of people have landlines. So only roughly about a quarter. I mean, didn't we do population. a story recently about they were talking about do, uh, doing away with landlines because it was too expensive to maintain them because such a small percent of people mm. had them? We just read that story in the newscast um, a few days ago. I believe it. I mean, but still, that's more than a quarter of people. I mean, mm -hmm. a quarter of people. Well, closing in on 30%, I mean, yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. still a substantial No, that's a good amount. thing, though. With her daughter and son having two different mm -hmm. connection issues, I wonder if they're in two different areas. So my husband, high. he yeah. said his phone was fine, but we live outside of Charlotte. Exactly. So I, I almost wondered... Yeah. All these big cities that are having issues. If you're outside the city with your phone, then mm -hmm. is it okay? It's a tower I don't situation. know. Is it a so, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Where, where, where he is outside of town, that tower is okay inside. Maybe. Yeah, we yes, have, there are issues. We have somebody else here is yeah. from uh, Lancaster, one of our engineers, and he has an SOS. So yeah. kind of that area, Union so, County, yeah. Lancaster. So it's yeah. I, it, it's spotty all over the place. I don't think there's really just usually when there's power outages, you can say, oh, this area, this area, mm -hmm, this area. Mm -hmm. But it's it's all over the place, which makes it interesting, so, yeah. complex. Clearly a lot we do not know mm -hmm. as of 741 this morning. So um, folks, just hang in there. Hopefully we'll uh, find out some more information. We'll be keeping you posted mm -hmm. online at WCNC.com and on air as well during the day show. And then again, coming up at midday. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.